Hey guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. This is Neelam, and I hope you all are doing well. I had a fabulous meetup in Hyderabad with a lot of spiritual beings, and it was a wonderful experience. So thank you for being a part of it. I'll be doing uh, meetups in other parts of India as well. So hoping to see you all. Um, today we're going to be looking at something that will surprise you, an event that is around the corner, a episode, an incident that is around the corner, which is going to surprise you. Okay, which is probably going to, we'll try to pick up on the energies of something that is going to have an impact on your life, positive. You Usually anything that happens in your life is for the positive. So, an event that will surprise you. So, pile one is going to be this bracelet. Okay. Pile two will be this uh, turtle. And pile three is going to be this bottle. Okay. So you can look at all the three objects, see whichever one is attracting you the most. Okay, one, two, and three. Uh, go ahead and pick your piles. I'm going to pause for two, three seconds for you to choose your options. And then we shall start with number one. All right, let's begin with pile number one. An event, something that is going to surprise you. Pile number one. Something that will surprise you, pile one. Okay, I have two cards. Hmm. I think this is the energy. Um, okay. Something in your past, okay. Uh, now you're going to actually understand that it happened for the good. Something that left you or you left a situation or you walked out of a place or you let it go. I mean, I'm seeing you let it go. Like, I'm, I mean, you decided that, okay, this, I can't chain it anymore. You've let it go and uh, it's gone. And today, as we talk right now, and as I'm doing this reading, you realize that this person has had taught you a lot of things. The situation had lot ta taught you a lot of things. But why is this coming up now? Let me see. Why is this coming up now? It's made you wise, obviously. Okay, I had two cards. Ah. Uh, all right, okay. So, I think you're getting a lot influenced by your past. You're getting very influenced by your past and I'm seeing that you need to understand that here situation was different and now the situation is different. So an event that is going to surprise you is you will actually see a lot of signs around this particular person who you let go. Now when I say let go i mean this particular person that you let go you will see signs around this person and those are not signs to go back to that person the signs are for you to understand to let this person go from your subconscious and subconscious both because this situation is keeping you at bay and it is stopping you from uh, getting the happiness that you truly truly deserve Okay, it is keeping you at bay and honestly, it's time for you to let go. You will see a lot of mirroring numbers, which are going to be the biggest sign for you to let go of this situation. Let's see a little more, an event, something that will surprise you. Hmm. You might also hear something about this person. Okay, you might also hear something about this person that they are 
they're not doing well or something has happened to them um but please remember this that it is gone your life does not revolve there anymore and it is gone for a reason you are not to be blamed for this this person could be thinking about you but um i don't think you should you should uh, bother so so much about what left you you shouldn't be so heavy about this whole thing it is basically for you to understand that this is not meant for you to brood over but to understand that it is gone for a reason and it also now has to go from your experiences from you basically you will have to know that okay this cannot be the reason why i hold myself back everywhere and even that will surprise you oh my god the lovers card i think you are not letting somebody in your life because of this reason and i think you know it subconsciously what i'm talking about yes you need to make peace with this past you need to let go of this from your subconscious completely because yes you found respite in solitude but then that's not the ultimate place to be at this juncture of your life what i'm seeing over here is that uh you after you let go of this situation you found a comfort zone and you're happy about it okay another thing that i'm picking up is that you're comparing two situations which is not something that you should do you're seeing signs to let this go i'm also seeing that you will uh, randomly get messages from people about the same thing like maybe somebody might just pour you a drink or maybe just pour some water for you in the glass and say that hey why can't you just be crystal clear like something like that where a message will be hidden maybe you will uh, walk on the road and suddenly there will be a message that will give you a big big sign for your life I am seeing that this situation that you're currently in where you're trying to play safe you already know what I'm talking about this is your prayers answered okay this is this situation is your prayers answered and it's a situation where you are being uh pushed and moved in the direction of the best and the highest good for you i can feel the energy although it might feel scary to you right now because it's triggering it is asking you to step out of your comfort zone so it might feel like a lot of trigger when in reality that's not the case i'll pick up an advice for you over here help is already on its way so let go of worry having trouble understanding our signs there you go i was talking about signs pay close attention to repeating patterns and messages we are saying the same thing repeatedly so that you can notice them different individuals may give you certain advice or you may receive similar messages through text social media etc these aren't mere coincidences but answers and guidance for you just what i said it just summed it up you know what you have to do you just know you just have to follow it you're looking constantly for validation am i making sense am i like you're letting the logic prevail which is fine i understand but no it's not fine you got to understand that i need to let go of that let the logic prevail situation listen to the first voice that comes to you okay and the event that is going to surprise you are the same kind of messages from different different people It's a very spiritual message for you pile one okay I hope this reading helps private readings are open so you can reach out to me and let me know in the comments if this resonated okay take care and I shall talk to you soon bye bye All right we'll move to pile 2 whoever chose this uh, total Okay and
an event that is going to surprise you or set a path for you very soon. Let's see what that is. An event that will surprise you, pile one. Ah, I was just picking up somebody not trusting a situation. One second. Okay. You will have to go through this dark night of the soul that you're probably going through. Um, I can see that you have constantly fallen for somebody's advice. You have constantly given in to someone's way of being in general. Because this person here, I see that there's a person involved here and you're just not able to trust this person. What is the cycle about? Okay, yes. This cycle is about you surrendering. I don't know what do you do, but I see that it could be childhood conditioning where you have been taught to think a certain way and you always think that people are negative, people are going to harm you, people are going to cheat on you. All these things come to your mind. Every time you try, you decide to move forward in a direction, you think about these things. So what I'm seeing here is that you get in that zone of manipulation and you start to think very negatively. So an event that is going to mark I feel that there is going to be a face-off with somebody. There is going to be a communication, a very divinely, uh, like, you know, a very divinely discussed and communicate, like designed, I would say, situation where you will be pushed to come out of this fragmented mentality. Everything, like, I think the reason why you feel everything is up in the air is because you think that no, um, this is not how it is supposed to be or uh, something so good cannot happen to me. Something like this cannot happen to me or I cannot be this way. All these things come into picture. So this is coming guys, I think pull up your socks because this will make you a better human being. This will make you, it will push you to feel those emotions very strong. Let's see. Yeah, something is about to change in your life. Uh, you will come out of a, a mindset that has been like pushed on you for several years. B, I also see that this is the only change that was blocking abundance in your life in all forms. Now, when I say abundance, it's abundance in uh, all directions, basically.
this change the moment this change comes in in you you will see a lot of things shifting and you have no idea how much you will transform because of this energy it will just seem like really did this just happen to me i mean i you will have that moment where you'll be like oh my god are you serious that for so many years i kept myself like this something like that why is all this happening let's see okay because a the abundance that you're seeking has to come to you because you deserve it and b i think you have to also stand up for something you will have to fight you will have to put up a fight about something and that is happening i do see that energy of conflict but which is fine this abundance that you deserve has to come to you it is like it's something that the universe wants to give you at any cost and that's that's exactly what's coming to you okay for some i'm also seeing that there could be fear of losing abandonment basically there could be fear of abandonment fear of losing out on things on a lot of things basically um and that would act as a barrier where maybe you know your family will not support you or certain things will not work in your favor all those things will come into play but the point is that this change has to come death this change has to come so that you can be happy I also see for some of you once this change comes about uh you will meet the love of your life also the true person who's meant to be with you after this phase off yeah i have the king of wands sorry king of wands repeating constantly or gender doesn't matter your divine counterpart could be on the other side let me see a guidance message for you what is the guidance for you I am the guardian who is taking care of you and your loved ones dear lift up fear based energies and feel my presence i'm always supporting and cheering you on imagine fairy dust being sparkled on any unhealed situation to restore love and harmony i am seeing that you have the i mean this is a true like go forward basically heal it heal that thing that has been bogging you down for so goddamn long i can see that energy for this pile and you have the support just take that step okay pile 1 oh, sorry pile 2 that's what i have i hope this helps uh private readings are open so you can reach out to me let me know in the comments if this made sense uh take care and i'll talk to you soon bye all right let's move to pile number 3 whoever chose this perfume bottle and event that is going to surprise you or is going to shift a lot of things in your life let's see and even that is going to surprise you very very soon that is going to surprise you very very soon ha huh. okay it's a oh my god it's a very clear message the more you open yourself up the more you let go of fears this person is going to come close to you what's coming to you very soon is as and when this person comes closer you will have to face the strongest of fears that existed in you because this is coming this is coming your way 
and so is this fear that was blocking this union so my dear whoever has chosen pile 3 be prepared to face these challenges just be open be open to your subconscious and listen to every small trigger that is pushing you to think a certain way to feel a certain way to not trust the other person all these things all these fears are coming up right now And can I tell you something? Um, I'm picking up that this can just happen right now. It's only this fear that you have of not being open to something is what is blocking you. What is this? Let me see. Something that is blocking you. Obviously, this is fear. But what do you need to open up to? Can we get a hint? Hmm. People. What do you need to open up to? Ah, yes, you have to, I think, forgive your childhood in some way. I'm picking up something in your childhood. Yeah, you're concerned for sure. I'm seeing that there is a certain kind of a concern you have about somebody associated with this situation that, you know, if you move forward, what is going to happen there? You have that fear in you, which is making you feel a little negative about the situation. Whereas, I don't think this thing exists in general. What's coming is, I'll tell you what, you will receive some kind of information that what you were so concerned about is actually not so important because you were blocking your life because of that. You were blocking your uh, you were blocking your situation because of that in general. And which is why I'm seeing that you will get this information that something that you were giving so much importance to was actually not worth it. It's not that. It's not that. What's coming your way? It's something that will surprise you. There is a decision on the horizon. There is something that you need to decide upon. Yes, and your intuition knows. You know that you need to declare this. You know that you need to say this. Yeah, you just know that you need to say this out loud and things just become better. Things will just shift. Things are going to change. You will start to see the other side of the story, pile number three. You will see, and this will happen in the next two days, it's very soon. You will see the other side of the story and then you'll be like, my God, like, why, why, why did I do this to myself? How could I even think this way? Like, 
this is just stupid that kind of a situation seeing that energy here in general so here it's a new beginning about to happen but before that beginning comes there are certain uh, fears that have to go and you will see this change in the next two days something in the next two days you will feel a little triggered about something and you will get some information which will make you understand that all this while that you were fearful it was just not worth it okay let me pick one advice card for you from here guidance for you wow divine counterpart i am making us a reality take this message as a reassurance from my end and please release all your doubts we belong together align yourself to this inner truth keywords are reunion union celebration love harmony deeper commitment wedding i did pick commitment up appreciate everything about yourself today take a moment and pat your back people are drawn to your positivity you're an earth angel who is meant to encourage people and help them grow through your own experiences you can make a difference a union is being orchestrated by the universe so before that happens i think there are some fears that have to go away from your system it's a beautiful energy Take care, guys. I hope this helps. Uh, private readings are open, so you can reach out to me. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense. Bye bye.